We're going to go through this afternoon's stations, but we want to talk to you about the butterfly and some basic butterfly mechanics because it's crucial for you to understand some of the terminology that goes with your butterfly and some of the techniques involved. So if we have Josh come out here a little bit, the first thing we talk about terminology-wise is knee drive. So when you drive your knees to the ice and up, there should be a sound that goes with that. Your knees should make a noise when they hit the ice. When we talk about pad flare, we're talking about how wide you get your butterfly out. Sometimes you're gonna have it nice and wide, and on poor angles, we're gonna condense it and constrain your butterfly because they don't need to be so wide on a poor angle shot. Now, a lot of you will have one default butterfly, which is same width every time, but it should vary based on that shooting triangle. And another thing we talk about when he's in his butterfly is stick involvement. So if there's no danger of a tip, puck's gonna hit you in the pad, we wanna get the stick involved, particularly on ones coming to the middle of the ice so we don't leave one out in the kill zone. Now, if there's a danger of a tip, point shots coming in where a guy's redirecting it, we gotta use stick discipline because if you chase after this puck with your stick and the guy tips it, it could go back through you. So any traffic, any potential tips, we use stick discipline. If it's flat on the ice, guy shooting from the wing, we get stick involvement. So those are the basic terminologies that apply to your butterfly with your pads and your stick. Now let's go to your butterfly again. When you butterfly, you can have active hands where your gloves are projected out in front of your body, or you can have more passive hands that you'd use maybe in a blocking situation. And there's your block butterfly with no holes in it. Couple things to bear in mind. When we project our gloves with active butterfly, we have to have them come straight off your hips because if you bring them out and to the side, you create big holes. Now that Russian goalie, quite frankly, let in a lot of goals even yesterday through him. He's a big goalie, but his butterfly caused a bunch of holes. Now a couple other things to talk about. If we've got a guy coming down the wing, for instance, and he's gonna overpower you with a hard slap shot and you butterfly, you don't wanna start out and then have to decide whether to close up or go wider. You wanna start closed and then you only have one choice to either go wider or not. Now, ideally, last point, you need to be able to butterfly, obviously, when your feet are stationary and you're set. But sometimes you have to butterfly while you're retreating. For instance, if you're on a breakaway, guys coming in on you on a breakaway, you might be backing up with speed, and you still have to be able to butterfly while retreating. Likewise, if you're on the post, and there's a centering pass, as it comes out, you might have to butterfly while you're moving forwards. Also, laterally, think about this scenario. He's squared up to me here. You got a guy moving across the slot. You might have to butterfly while moving sideways. So in all situations, it's best if you can butterfly once you've got your feet set. But many times, you get caught moving in your butterfly and you still have to be able to drive it. So we're gonna work today on some butterfly stuff. We're gonna work on more screen, another showdown. And by a show of hands, who's gonna win the showdown? Three sixties. Little backwards. Nice and wide dribbles, make it go nice and wide. Send it out way to the side. I just need two nets total. I don't need four, just two. I just I just need two nets total. Thanks, man. All right, come on down to the net. All right, Denny, jump in the net here for a second. So one thing that we like to start off every lesson with before you get into the actual net and crease movements is making sure that you get some puck handling going so you feel the puck, get your heart rate up, get your energy in your hips, your heat. But let's start off with a few crease movements. So what you're gonna do to start with is you're gonna come to the top of the crease here, 
you're gonna do a hard butterfly get up T push to there just to the middle angle and then you're gonna go to the far angle and then you come back so it's bang 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 and then over and back you're gonna go three All times so you're gonna get up each time so bang your butterfly hard yep to the angle nice same thing coming back one more trip here and back keep coming all right now on this one i'm going to want you to to do the same thing as far as going to the three targets but i want you to once you bang your knees slide across low and then pop up and for me any really good lesson that we can do we break it down into about a third of it moving about a third of it working on game situations and rebound control and about a third of the lesson puck handling. So let's continue on with the movement portion. So drive your knees, slide over while down, pop up, drive your knees, slide over, look where you're going, that's it. One more trip, one more trip. Great job. All right, catch your breath. Now, a third variation to help get the heart rate up and your temperature up, I'm gonna have you start down and stay down. We're gonna attack those three targets where you push over to the next angle and you stop with your lead skate. So we're working on applying your brakes. Ready, go. Good job. Nice. All right, ready? Challenge out the heart. Back to the post. Middle angle. Nice. Far angle. Okay, switch posts. Same thing, opposite post. Long one. Excellent. So now we're going to do the same exact thing, but I want you to start down in the RVH and do RVH punch out. So we'll go on the right post to start. And I want you to push out to that short side angle, the right angle. Yep, push out. Back on the RVH. Middle angle. Yep, back. Land in the RVH. Far angle. That's it. Push out there. Try it again. Let's start again. Watch this. Let's, let's start in the RVH. Push out. And then slide back and land in the RVH. Middle angle, that's it. Back, slide back, land in the RVH. Nice, far angle, slide back, land in the RVH. Excellent, now switch posts, same thing. Here we go. Long one, that's it. Okay, over to the far angle, excellent. You start off flat to the goal line, hinge out, hinge back, hinge out, hinge back. Go a little bit further and get that foot, uh, get that toe bridge right on that uh, post. That's it. Okay, hinge out, hinge back, hinge out, hinge back, and switch posts. Hinge out. Hard, crunch that C cut, spin. There, get that pivot. There it is. Excellent. Two more. Yeah, and last one. And that's one where I like to see a little bit more power developed on that one. You're gonna start off like you've got an off-center break where you come out, you stop, you back up with speed straight, you do one slide to the middle, grab that edge, and then finish in the RVH. So it's a, a step out, a step back, one slide in the other and finish in the RVH. All right, step out, step back, hard slide left, and then right, nice. All right, let's do four more of those. Here we go. Step out, step back, hard RVH. Excellent, pop out there. Three more, three more, here we go. That's it, two more. All right, last one. Excellent, step out, quick slide to the middle. Finish RVH, yep. Quick step out. 
This time, stop your toes right at the blue ringette crease there this time. So just a little challenge. Back heart. Back there. Finish. Yep, two more. Nice. Okay, next thing you're going to do is you're going to do a step out where you step out from that right post to the top of the crease. And then my hand is going to steer you in one of four directions. I'm either going to send you across the top of the crease there or back to the post. I'm either going to send you across the top of the crease there or back to the post. So when you step off, read my hand. Next repetition, switch posts. Ready? Here we go. You start up on your feet for this one. Step out. Yep. Switch posts. Switch posts, opposite post, step out. Back to the post. Nice. Step out. Step out. Drop. Back to the other post. Step out. Excellent. Two more. Grab the other post. Go. Excellent. Good angle. And last one. Step out. and stand up here for a second, right off the side there. So the decision when we actually decide, am I pivoting fully and back to the post, or am I pivoting and trying to come across the top of the crease, depends on the gap on the guy. If he's in tight, you may want to come back and finish on the post, but if a guy's out by the face-off dot and he's got you gapped, you're going to want to go across the top of the crease. As Soon as he passes it, recover and get up and go square up to Ben. Ready? Here we go. Watch that puck all the way in. On your knees to start. Follow, follow, find that puck. Drive those knees, drive those knees. Nice gut trap, excellent. Three more on this side, three more. Atta boy, atta boy. Two more. Nice pivot, plant, and push. Really pivot, plant, drive there, drive there. Okay, switch sides. Good save, way to follow. Nice. Atta boy, whack it away, whack it away. Get rid of that loose change. Excellent job. Okay, three more on this side. Nice save, way to watch it in there. Okay, two more. Watch that puck. Last one. Nice, good finish. We're gonna have a tight centering pass from here, out to him, make sure we get an idea what hand he is and let's line up right on his stick, not his body. So catch and release, it's not a one-timer. Here we go, grab the post. Hit the net, hit the net. That's it. Turn that to the corner, turn that to the corner. Watch that puck all the way off the stick. Watch it, watch that puck, you got it, watch it. Nice, let's turn that to the corner. Two more on this side, two more. Last one. Nice, all right, here we go. Nice, good follow, way to watch it in there. Awesome job. Turn that, gotta turn that blocker to the corner. Three more. Two more. Catch it, last one, last one. All right. Rebounds are live, yep. Hard pass, pump it in their heart. That's it, cover hunger. Nice.
Nice cover. Three more, three more. That's it, two more. Last one. Nice. All right, switch sides. That's it. Out of boy, Danny. Nice. You're already 20 times quicker than Trav. Nice, nice. Two more, two more. Last one. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Ben, you're gonna go here with your butt against the wall. You're gonna catch a direct pass from Quinn. If he goes straight to the net RVH, if he goes here, or if he walks out over there, I want you to make sure you get off the post and step out, don't get back in the RVH. If he comes in tight, slow motion, let's walk through this. That's where we're gonna do the RVH because he's in close. Try that one more time. So if he passes and he walks in tight, this is where we do the RVH. He's attacking the net actively, that's a good time for it. Now, if he comes out to here and he walks out, releases from here, you gotta get off the post and step out on him overlap. And the same thing if he's a little wider. So Ben, that's completely up to you which one of those three, attack tight, Attack mid and attack wide. Your choice. Here we go. Find it. Find it. Locate that puck. Locate it. Watch that. Get that glove projected forward. Good cover. Good cover. Two more. Nicely done, nicely done. Two more. Step out, step out. Nice, nice. That a battle, way to go, Denny. Last one on this side. Smart, all right, let's set it up going the other way, fellas. All right, now on this side, the one thing that's changed, obviously he's a righty, so on the backhand, it's not gonna be an aggressive as an attack at this level. But if he does swing his body around onto the forehand, you gotta be careful. Same principles of lie are, are in line here. If he comes to the net, that's RVH time. If he walks out higher, that's when you snap up to your feet and get out and face him up. Here we go. Battle, don't skate by that rebound, play it out. Every private lesson, every puck is live. <coughs> Good try, battle it out till it's done. Battle it out till it's done. That's also a good time for a nice little simple step out, close butterfly, I love it. Three more. Good depth, good depth, that a boy. Let's do two more over here, two more. Way to get down on that RVH, excellent. Last one, last one. Nicely done. All right, Danny, next one we got, we got a little give and go down low. Time and space is a big calculation here. In this practice, there's nobody gonna knock him on his butt. Shea Weber's not gonna give him a concussion so he can get a lot cuter. So to make this realistic, we're gonna do a give and go down low to Quinn. He's coming straight line to you for the return pass. When he does shoot it or catch the pass, he's gotta shoot it. We're gonna make him be a little bit more realistic so he can't do goofy stuff. So let's move with each pass. Each guy is live, each guy could score, so don't cheat the drill. Here we go. Rebounds are live. Good battle, good battle. You can pass it through my legs, Ben, if you can manage it. Nice save, rebound. Oh, almost glory, almost glory. Same thing, here we go. Nice, let's do two more on that side. Two more on that side. Here we go. Move with each pass. Excellent. Nice. Okay, last one. Last one on this side. Ah, 
All right, let's switch sides. Now, he's a righty. If he gets it back beside his body in his wheelhouse, he could one-time it. So if he has to reach out in the backhand, he's gonna have to catch it and settle it. So this is why it's so important to read the hands of guys attacking the net and reading their time and space. Here we go. That's it. Really be good about getting on his stick, not his body. Get on his stick, not his body. No holes, no holes. Nice. Good angle there. You didn't give him anything on the short side. I love it. Good gut trap, Danny. Let's do three more over there. Not a boy, Danny. Three more. And so when he adjusts that puck laterally, he's opening up net. So you got to be ready to laterally adjust to that. Let's do last one on this side. Here we go. Great angle battle. Don't quit on that first puck. Good job, Danny. Okay, so here's what we got. You're gonna start off in the butterfly, you're gonna work on your pivot, your plant, your rotation to get over there. Quinn's gonna hover his stick over the puck, and whenever he feels like it, he's gonna pump it over here to Ben, and you gotta get there, project your gloves. Let's go. Get a good pivot, good powerful push. Good pivot, good powerful push. Nice, pull your net back, fix your net. That's it. Really get violent with that hip. Get violent with that push. Project the gloves. That's it. Three more. Three more. Good try. Good try. That's a hard drill. We're finishing this stuff with the hard stuff. Two more. Okay, here we go. Two more. Last one. You got this, Danny. Let's get a save in here. Last one. Here we go. Nice. All right. Same thing opposite way. He's not on his forehand, but he's still going to be able to get some good juice on the pizza here. So get a good powerful pivot. Good plant with your right skate. Oh, Danny, baby. I hope I caught that on video. Woo! Watch this for one second. Get in your butterfly, Denny. When you turn your head, put your glove up here. Your head and your glove should mirror each other. So as you're turning to go like that, your glove should get there early and then bring your body in behind it, okay? So show me that without a puck right now. So as soon as your head turns, your glove's got to mirror it and get that glove leading early. You're still bringing your legs in simultaneously, but just slightly ahead with the glove. That's a good save there. Let's do three more. Attaboy battle. All right, two more. All right, last one. And we're going to do this one for the Stanley Cup. Hang on, let me get my post back here. This is for all the marbles. Here we go. No Stanley Cup for you. So, Danny, we got some movement drills in. We got some game situation stuff. We're gonna finish off before the puck handling segment by doing some breakaways. So how many are you gonna stop out of 10? We've got Quinn and we've got Ben. So what's your number out of 10 gonna be? Open for six. You're gonna stop six? At least. I'm gonna make it seven. Seven? Okay. All right, if they get three goals, you win. Okay. Three goals or less. You guys gotta get three goals or more. So guys, you're gonna alternate. One guy goes and the other guy goes to a total of 10. Here we go. Oh, we bit, we bit. Hang on, Ben, hang on. Be patient, Danny. Here we go. Oh, way to stay with him, good job. All right, go ahead, Quinn, go ahead. Oh, patience, patience on your edges. Don't back in too soon, Danny. Solid.
post is part of your business there. There we go. Good stick, good stick. Hey guys, before you go, what are we at right now? You guys done three each? All right, here we go. Got six done. Good stick discipline, excellent job. Here we go. Oh, just got her over the pad, nice try. This last two. Nice. So hang on, got one last puck. How many goals do you guys got? You got one? All right, so I think you've already got the win. This last one's for pride. They got two for nine. Ready, here we go, last one. All righty, nice job. We're gonna transition into puck handling now. One third of the lesson puck handling, one third positioning, one third rebound control. All right, Danny, with this puck handling drill here, we're gonna do a soft rim. Go back and handle it on your backhand. Give them a nice two-handed backhand pass right to where they are. They're gonna catch that pass, walk the top of the circle, do an off-center breakaway. So little puck handling, finishing with an off-center breakaway. Get a good touch on it, here we go. Nice direct pass, go again. Read the boards, read the boards. Here we go. Nice direct pass. Back to your net. That's it, good depth. Know where that puck is after it hits you. Know where it is. Same thing. I'm a good pass, good pass. Nice and hard, nice and flat. Get back to your net. Nice. Here we go. Good get, good pass, nice and hard, nice and flat. Hustle back. All right, watch your angle. Two more on this side, two more. Get a nice touch. Hustle back. All right, last one, last one. Nice hard pass. Back to your net, hustle in. All right, same thing, opposite side. Nice straight pass, flat on the ice, nice and hard. That's it. Nice. Hustle back. Atta boy. Keep the battle going, keep the battle going. Read the boards, read the boards, quick pass. That's it. Nice. boy. good battle, good battle. Three more, three more. Two more, two more. Two more, Danny, you're doing great, buddy. Keep it up. Good pass. Back to your net. All right, last one. Last one, kiddo. Here we go. Last one. All right. Okay, so this drill here, we're going to continue on the puck handling. We're going to grab a puck here. It's a pressured thing. And you're going to do an indirect off the yellow. Get back to your net, because he's going to pass out to the point, And he's going to drop a bomb. Okay. So reset up, let's do six pucks like that. And we want to put some good speed on it. And these are all going to be your backhand. Ready, here we go. Nice and hard, kill it. Get back to your net, back to your net. Nice. Great save, Denny, great save, good battle. Here we go. Nice hard indirect, off the yellow, back to your net. Nice, nice. Four more. Go get her, go get her. Use the yellow, use the yellow. Back to your net, back to your net. 
Turn that off your blocker to the corner so it goes to safety. Okay, three more, let's go. Back to your net, back to your net. Two more, two more. Here we go, here we go. Hard off the yellow. Get back, get back. Last one, last one. Nice. Beauty. So Denny, we use indirects for one reason. You have four check pressure, you don't have time to make a direct pass. We prefer direct passes, but sometimes we need indirects. So here, indirects, you're gonna push a little deeper into the corner, get a good spot off the yellow, and get back to the corner. And the thing is, if you don't get it off the yellow, it ends up being kind of a funny bounce. All right. Ready, here we go, use the yellow. Use the yellow, use the yellow. Rebounds are live, rebounds are live. That's what I want. That's a great blocker, that's a great follow. Nice, safe, elevated rebound. Pump it, pump it. Back to your net, back to your net. Manage this rebound, manage it. Where is it, where is it, where is it? We gotta know where that puck is. Know where it is. Four more, here we go. Get back, get back. Nice. Three more, three more. Here we go, here we go. Get back, get back. Two more, two more. Two more. Back to your net, back to your net. Oh, good battle, Danny, good battle. Okay, last one, last one. Here we go. Get back, get back, get back. Woo! We want to transition. Remember what I said? We want to spend about a third of every practice working on rebound control. I'm going to leave Ben right here. He's going to shag any rebounds. I've got the pucks over here. I'm going to put some pucks on some soft areas on you, on your pads, off your chest, off speed stuff, hard stuff. But your two best rebound control weapons here are going to be your stick and your glove. If I somehow manage to generate a rebound off you, you need the puck to get away from him. And if you do leave it there, you need to make sure you battle for it. Here we go. You gotta turn it, use our pads, just like pinball flippers. You don't wanna put it there. Remember, the shooting triangle over here, the shooting triangle is very thin. You don't have to do a wide flare butterfly. Do a more constrained flare where you put your feet a little bit behind your butt. Because they're gonna be able to hit that far pad all the time. Let's go three more on this side. Three more. And anything that hits our glove, gotta stay in that glove. Two more. Good battle, good battle. And remember, you get a high-end guy in the NHL, OHL, they're coming in on a two-on-one, and they might try just to use you as a rebound. And that's where we gotta get more active with our stick. Let's do one more on this side. One more. Battle and cover. So keep it away. That's not nice, that's not nice. That's a good rebound, find it. That's a battle. That's a battle. Three more. I had to get one for your dad. That was for your dad. Two more. Last one. Last one. Battle. Good try in the battle. All right, Denny. We're going to finish with a little bit of work. We got seven minutes to go. And when you set your work ethic, you set your own bar for effort. Just remember, there's some kid in Finland right now that's actually training to make himself better. So you're not competing against the people you see, you're also competing against people you don't see. So whenever you do movement drills, don't do them smooth and controlled. Do them smooth and controlled, but violently fast, game conditions. So let's push through the tired. We're gonna go through a bunch of variations here, and we're gonna use the referee's crease. Now the referee's crease, 
That's designed so captains can't go in and bug the referee when they're talking to the timekeeper. But what we're going to do first variation, you're going to keep your skates on the red referee's crease. You're going to shuffle over and back three times. Ready? Here we go. Push yourself. Get that glove a little more open. That's it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's one. Push through the tired. This is how we make saves in the later stages of a game when we're not feeling it. This is how we do it. Keep going. Keep going. You got one more trip to go, then you get a little breather. One more trip. Get a little breather in there. Finish it, finish it, finish it. And catch your breath. You get 30 seconds. The next one we got now, Denny's gonna be T-push, stop, butterfly. T-push, stop, butterfly, get up. So, no, so it's no butterfly slide, it's just T-push, stop, get up, over and back three times. This is a butt kicker, here we go. Keep pushing through it, keep pushing through it. Push through the tired, push through the tired. You got a lot of people in your life you need to prove wrong. People that say you're to this, you're to that, push through that. This is who you're beating out right now, the people that doubt you. This is who we're beating out. Come on, keep going, Danny, keep going. Come on, keep your technique, keep your technique. Finish it, finish it, get back there, get back there. Nice job. Ready? Sliding butterfly pop-ups. Here we go. Nice. Keep going. Get the glove to the side of your body. Keep going. One more trip. One more trip. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That'll boy. Last. Get over there. Last one. Get over there. So down on your butterfly facing that way. And I'm going to resist you all the way there. Ready? Here we go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And stop. And let's do the same thing coming back. Ready? Here we go. Push hard, push hard. Come on, Danny. Give it, give it, give it. Dig it in, dig it in, dig it in. Nice job. All right. The magic of filmmaking, Danny. Well, how'd you survive your lesson today? Barely. Do you want me to edit out all the goals? Or do you want me to leave them in? You do yours. I'll do me. Good job, Danny. Cool down, stretch for a second.